Alright y'all, it's another episode of Cool Wilson's Adventure to Becoming the Greatest Motherfucking Basketball Player of All Time no, I'm just playing, so you see I'm averaging just under 50 points right there And still at about, it's a little bit around 80 assists a game And um, so let's just, let's jump right in it to, You know, I said before I'm going to be more aggressive this season Right off the bat, 6 seconds into to the game I'm like stumbling all over my words. Six seconds into the game, I'm going to the basket. Perfect release. Hall of Fame. Y'all see the five-second timer down there. I always, always putting that in my videos just so y'all know. Um, if you have not played on Hall of Fame, just just go ahead and try it. Just go ahead and try it. So, posted up Drew Holiday for a little bit right there. Drop it down low to my power forward. The man of old Kenneth Fareed. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. Give it to the big man down low. I try to get my big man involved early just so that they could be more aggressive. You know what I'm saying? They could feel important. I need my big man to help me out because I can't do everything by myself. And one right there. Uh, you know, I, I, I like to get my teammates involved. Even though I drop like 50, 60 points a game uh, as an average, I still like to get my teammates involved. And uh, Jared Jack, baby, come on, man. You got to play better defense than that. You just let me blow past you at half court like that. This, do you understand this man is one of the best dunking power, power point guards in the game right now? Fade away, too. Y'all see, it's not just layups and free throws for me, man. Oh, my God. Andre Iguodala, man. That was, that was crazy. I can't even hate. Can't even hate. But, uh, but I knew it was going to be problems this game when this happened. Dog, this hit the top of the backboard. I got to take another look at this. This hit the top of the backboard, rolled on it for about three seconds, hit the front of the rim, rolled on that, hit the back. Man, it just, when this happened, I was like, all right, that little 10-point lead we got is, is about to be gone because <laughs> they hitting everything. So, hit Jerry Jack with the up and under. You know what I'm saying? When I'm in the post, that up and under move is crucial. You know, some people might not like it. Some people say it's cheesing or whatever. But if you play on Hall of Fame, or even not on Hall of Fame, you just play 2K12 regardless. It's just going to be a lot of stupidness uh, happening on part for the computer. You know what I'm saying? They just pull off some crazy stuff. But right here on the inbound play, throw up the alley-oop. For some reason, I cannot catch alley-oop dunks. Uh, I can only do alley-oop layups, which is stupid. But which is, it, it going for the pump fake, that's stupid too. You know I'm going to go bad you. You know I'm going to get that nice highlight dunk. You know what I'm saying? Might use that in the dunk contest. Shout out to everybody in the dunk contest. If you haven't checked out the commentator dunk contest, uh, me and QJB are the finalists. And um, I think man, yeah, next video or some, a couple videos within the coming weeks, you know, I'll address that more. But uh, right now, let's, let's get into the stomping that Cool Wilson putting on. I'm like, oh my God, is he really that open? And uh, I can't, I can't leave my teammates just sitting open like that. I gotta give it to him. See right here, what's the Chandler breaking? I, he should have gave it to me for the three pointer, but it's cool. I got the assist, so I can't hate on him. Fading away, jump shot. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? It's not. I'm not a one dimensional player. I'm threats from every angle, so they're shooting a way better percentage than us. Uh, we are getting to the free throw line a lot. Elton Brand coming out in the second half. Fading away, posted up. So I'm like, all right, you want to do that? I, I post up too. I do the hook shot. Like, I'm the big man. So, I'm using my teammates as much as I can for screens. Even when they not setting picks, uh, I try to run my teammate. Oh, he, he fell for that pump fake so bad. I try to run my, uh, whoever guarded me into his teammate just to, just to set up like a little screen. Give myself some space. And, um. You know, it's like no matter what we do, get the dunk down low. No matter what we do, they just come right back with something. Drew Holiday, nice up and under. You see, even the computer used up and under. So I do this fadeaway. Probably was a bad idea. And then Eagle Dollar just down the court. Look at that, man. It's so quick. Eagle Dollar is a beast. I can't even hate on him. Spencer Hawes, you're not going to stop me. You know, when I'm driving to the basket, it's not going to happen. The only person to probably stop me is maybe Dwight Howard. But. Uh, so right now, he he had to foul me. He had to foul me. I understand that he had to foul me. He was about to get posterized. So the game right now, they are they're beating us right now. But I gotta get the big man involved again. Pick up the nice assist, and um, you know I'm just gonna keep attacking the basket. When it's coming down to crunch time, 
you know, it's not fourth quarter yet, but these dudes, the Sixers, are making everything. And Kenneth Faree posterizing people. I had to feed him the fa had to feed him for that assist right there. I didn't know he was gonna do him dirty like that though. That was just crazy. Um, you know, I'm always keeping my hands up, baby. And one foul, and I get the layup, or not the layup. I get the dunk. About to knock a free throw down right here. Get the and one play going, and uh, we got the lead back right now. But like I said. They, man, they on fire right now as a team. They're shooting a real good percentage. They're knocking down three-pointers, passing the ball, contributing. Everybody is contributing on their team. You know, it's a close game. I love games like this. Kenneth Fareed picking up the cleanup layup that I missed. You know, I don't make every shot. Can't do it all myself. Jared Jack knocking down the buzzer beater. So let's go ahead and get into the fourth quarter. Um, like I said, I'm using my teammates. They set screens for me, giving me some nice lanes to the hoop. They still knocking down shots. We just can't get no separation from them. So no matter what I'm doing, I'm like, boy, I'll size you up. Knock that jumper down in your face. You can't let me get this deep in the post. I don't care who you are. You're not going to stop me when I'm that, that down low in the post. But you see, no matter what we do, they just keep on coming back. So I'm not agree I get the layup right there. You know, I'm setting screens and picks too. I'm not just greedy out here i gotta have a ball in my hand all the time even though i'm the point guard but i don't know what happened right here i don't think it was blocked i think he missed the dunk and uh that might come back to bite him in the ass so i'm gonna go ahead and drop it off right here to big fella down low get big son how the fuck is it he they hitting like everything look at this jumpers hook shots layups everything but it's all good they got the lead right now Give it to the big. I, had, I got faith in my big man. I got faith in them. So down the stretch, you know, Spencer Hawes. I'm pretty sure that's his name. I'm not sure. But down the stretch, and this was the turning point. Drew Holiday fouled out. And uh, I got to go ahead and knock these free throws down. They chanting MVP. He will sit for the rest of this game. Jared Jack is checked in for Drew Holiday. Clutch free throws right there. But I'm like, all right, we got this in the bag. I was completely wrong because Eagle Dollar just out here posterizing people in clutch times. Like, wow. That was like two people right there. But right here, this is when it matters. I'm trying to get to the basket. I see their center coming over. I'm like, nah, let me spin off away. And I get the layup right there. And that is the game. Or is it? You know what I'm saying? It coming down to the defensive, you know, strategy, which I'm trying to keep the ball from Jared Jack because I got a feeling that it's going to come to him. It do come to him. So I call for McGee to come over. I'm like, you know, if you're going to make a shot, you're going to have to do it over a seven foot one person, not just me. So McGee come over, to the shot. He misses it. And, um, you know, they playing defense. They playing up. They not fouling. They, they got faith in their defense, which I don't blame them. You know, they have made some stops. So we go see how I play. I'm trying to ISO, run some of this clock down, and I call over from McGee me, give me a pick. Didn't really work out the way I wanted it to, but I'm like, uh, I got to throw something up. Missed the shot, but McGee is right there. Look at Gumby down there doing work with the big rebounds, and he knock him down, or he he bring, he get the ball to me, and I'm gonna knock these free throws down. So that's one, and that's two. And that's all we needed. So they got one more chance at it for a three-point shot. Send it to overtime. Like, nah, Evan Turner. You're not getting no easy three-point shots. I'm going to come over for the double team. He misses it. We walk away with a close victory by three points. And, uh, man, Philly was balling, though. I can't even hate on him. So, you know, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Let's go ahead and check out these Jordan player of the game highlights. And uh, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace out. Steve Kerr and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for joining us tonight. I ain't calling names because all of y'all the same. Plus, I'm the king. All my past pain, all done changed up. All these planes, all these lanes since the slaughter's came up. Because they know their hands tied, feet, ball and chained up. Niggas be quick to call me the new 50 cent because I'm a relationship with Marshall. Used to make me a little partial, but here's the brain fuck. We the same, cuz I'm probably about to fall out with a young buck while I attempt to fuck.